So how are you? Here we are. Everybody's been stuck at home lately. How's it going? Have you lost your mind? Are you loving it? Is your whole house, apartment, whatever you live in, is it like spotless because we have all this time? Oh, as long as everyone's being safe and practicing social distancing. So anyway, I'm just, I think what I want to do is before all this happened, I did go shopping. I got just some little odds and ends like the new Dior concealer. This little guy's still in its box. Is that upside down? Yeah. <laughs> this little guy's still in its box. I have yet to use it. This is new to me, but not new to the beauty community. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury's contouring one. I really want to try this. I don't have a lot of her products, which is odd, but I, I'm pretty sure it's mainly because my Sephora does not have Charlotte Tilbury, so I can't go in the store and play with it, which is a bummer because then I did go to a Sephora that had it and I was all over her section. I got the contouring wand and I got her K-I-S-S-I-N-G. This uh, lipstick in the shade Kim KW. And you know what, I like Kim K, so I bought this one. The new Hourglass Foundation and Natasha Denona's Lip Euphoria in the shade Nude. And I was thinking, why don't I go through this and just do different kind of chit chatty, do an everyday makeup look, do a face that's mostly Hourglass, which is what I decided on today. I've also got I want to do a full face of maybe Natasha Denona, but I want to utilize things that I already have because I don't know. I just don't feel like dropping a big chunk of change on makeup with, with everything that's going on. Don't feel like that would be the smartest move on my part. So today I picked Hourglass. We're going to dive in and just kind of piddle around. This is not, this video really has no purpose. So don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, Hit that thumbs up button if you're loving my sign here. Isn't that cool? I like it. Let's get started. I've got two of the foundation sticks. One is in the shade Nude. The other one is in Warm Beige. I'm going to go in with both. Oh my gosh. I almost forgot to prime. Don't tell anybody. That's like, ooh, as Nikki Tutorial says, it's a crime not to prime. I almost went to jail. This is the Veil Mineral Primer. It is oil free and mm, I don't know much about it. I just know it's Hourglass and I'm pretty sure I bought it because I was on an Hourglass kick. Man, that's one pump right there. Super smooth. I am going to use this as my mirror and I'm sorry if it gets in the way. So I was taking a shower and I scrubbed my face. I exfoliated it, which I don't do that every single time I'm in the shower because you don't, you know, you need to baby your skin. Well, most people need to baby their skin. I'm not going to say every single person should. But I exfoliated it. I used just a basic face wash with the beads in it. I think it was like clean and clear. You know, something, nothing special. And then I got out of the shower. And I don't know why I did this. Dumb on my part. I know. But I put on the Drunk Elephant Baby Facial. TLC, I believe. Baby Facial. And... It really burned bad but not to the point it had burned before but not to the point where I was like oh my gosh I've got to take this off I haven't done this in a while as you can see I skipped another one of my crucial steps and just to mention I did start out first thing when I woke up lumify I absolutely love this stuff like if I am putting Two things in a bag that are beauty related and that I have to have just two, then I'm going with Lumify and woof. 
I don't know. Lumified is definitely one though. Anyway, so it burned really, really bad, but not to the point where I absolutely needed to take it off. It was nothing. Bottom line, I didn't go run and wash it off. And I waited the full 20 minutes and then I washed it off. But it didn't burn that whole time. So it was it was less than five minutes of burning. And then I was like, okay, cool. It's because I had just scrubbed my skin and it's fresh skin. It's going to burn. Well, I don't know if you can see that. My skin normally does not... You can't really see that, but it normally doesn't have these little spots on it. And there for a while, it was scabbed on both sides of my face. I was freaked out, but lesson learned, won't do that again. So I want to know what everybody's been doing. Comment down below. Let me know your favorite pastime. I think we all have said like at least once, you know, I'd really love to just stay home and not have to work. Well, here we are. And we're itching to get out of the house. This is in the shade nude. Well, I think when we, when I first wanted to, I don't know, when I first had that like scare of, oh gosh, this is getting for real. And I was like, hey, told my boyfriend, we need to go and at least stock up on something. You know, we don't want to be stuck in the house with absolutely nothing. We went to Target and we had heard rumors about toilet paper's gone. This is gone, that's gone. People are getting crazy. I'm gonna go in with this Pat McGrath foundation brush. We had heard rumors, but we didn't know the extent of it. Wow, I haven't used this foundation in forever. And so far, I really like it. Anyway, we go into Target, and my first thing with everything that I had heard was, okay, at least get some toilet paper. It was, I wasn't even freaking out, I swear. I was not freaking out, and then like I'm walking through the store, and I see this old lady and this poor child is behind her. They have two buggies, two buggies. And this poor child has this buggy and it is freaking full of spaghetti hose. The cans, this little girl was struggling to push this buggy and the old ladies in front, I don't know where they're headed because I'm like, I gotta beat you, uh-uh, I gotta get my toilet paper. And I felt like that's, what they, that's where they were headed. So, I had to just go in front. I didn't see them in the toilet paper aisle. In fact, I didn't see anything in the toilet paper aisle because this is what it looked like. And we went, as soon as I got off work, we went to Target. So it wasn't like, oh, we all just went late at night. It was maybe 4.30. And everybody was getting their necessities. The hand sanitizer was gone. Any kind of disinfectant, Clorox, any, anything that clean, anything that cleans was out. And then there were signs posted on empty shelves that said uh limit one per customer y'all don't have any 
There, there is isn't zero per, per customer now. But there was like the toilet paper aisle and then there's this spot where you go. There's a toilet paper aisle and then there's like a little section where they have flushables, like wipes for adults. <laughs> and me and my boyfriend, there were like one or two left. There was a Charmin brand and then a generic brand. And I picked it up, the Charmin brand, looked at my boyfriend and was like, mm, and put it in the buggy. You darn too. And I sure did. We're going to have something. We weren't completely out in the first place, but just to get that extra, because you never know. I don't think it's like, I don't, what's the word? I don't think it's absolutely bizarre to grab a couple extra things of toilet paper during this. You don't know. All those people saying, yeah, well, who, why are y'all buying so much toilet paper? Well, don't come to me when you're out because you should have stocked up. I mean, it's just a precaution to take. You're stuck in the house. I think you're gonna want toilet paper. Okay, so this is the new Hourglass Concealer. I got the shade Silk. I have not used this before. I wanted to wait to do it for a video, but the reviews I've seen have been pretty good. Wow, look at the applicator. That's a big doe foot. Okay, we're gonna apply it like normal. Wow, creamy. Okay, let me zoom y'all in. Well, it feels really nice. Okay. Okay. Gonna blend this out. Let's see how it goes. Well, geez, it sure does blur. Okay, I'm looking freaking crazy. I may have gone too light, but we can fix that. No need to panic. I'm not going to contour today. I think what I wanna do is just kinda keep it light and simple. So I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not going anywhere. I'm probably going to do this and maybe pick something to organize. I don't know. My makeup? I should. Am I going to? Mm. I am going to go in just to use something else from Hourglass. This is their setting powder. Let me tell you something. Hourglass kills it on their appearance of making their beauty products look sleek and I'm gonna use the word sexy. Their packaging is on point. I'm going to take a little bit of powder. That's probably, that is too much from, that's more than what I was wanting to get, but I'm gonna set my under eyes. You know what we'll do around my nose. I am like chalkboard flat. Mm. I also have this hyaluronic skin tint from Hourglass. 
I put it on, no, I haven't even fully tested this yet on my face because I did test it out on my skin and it's thick. I mean, geez. So I'm trying to figure out, I don't know. If y'all know exactly how to use this, maybe I did something wrong by just applying it to my skin. I don't know. But I mean, it's beautiful. Smells like just left the pool and lathered in straight up sunscreen, which I like that smell. I mean, maybe it's, I should just use it for summer. I don't know if you know, comment down below, let me know. Let's add some dimension to my face because I'm tired of looking at it in the monitor and y'all are probably tired of it too. So I'm gonna go in with a big fluffy brush from IT. This is the 211 All Over Powder Brush. I really, really like this brush. The bronzer that I'm gonna go in with, the Radiant Bronze Light. This is a part of their Ambient Collection. That collection is absolutely beautiful. I bought a bunch of stuff from it just because I, I didn't even get to go into Sephora and play with it. It was online, just everything looked gorgeous. So I just bought. Add a little bit of depth and shape to my face. And see my skin's starting to peel right there. Oh, that's frustrating, but whatever. Well, that's a little bit better. You can still see under my eyes, it's like ghostly white, but we can fix that. I've got one, two, three of their blushes. This one's not really focusing, come on. They are beautiful. This again is a part of the Ambient Collection. Let me put them all side by side. Look at that. Which one do I wanna use? Oh my gosh, that's so hard. I think I'm gonna go in with the middle one. No, I changed my mind. I wanna go in with this one. Dim and Fusion. Are they different from Diffused Heat? Yes, they are. Diffused heat and ethereal glow. And we are gonna go in with this hourglass. Did I say hourglass? Hourglass. This is their blush brush. And I don't remember exactly how much she was, but I do know I remember I went, oh. So she was expensive for something I don't even use every day. But I chose this life. Whatever. So let's see what one. Can you even see that? I got the ambient lighting palette as well as the single palette. This is mood light. Oh, it almost matches my nails. How cute is that? And then this is the palette. What I am going to do for today is just run my brush through all three. So. It's definitely softer than the normal highlights like Rihanna's diamond bomb that stuff is legit that stuff screams look at me i am here and i love it i do like this it's softer kind of gives you that soft sultry look next would be eyeshadow i don't have any hourglass eyeshadow or mascara I'm really sorry, but what I figured I would do since we are keeping this look pretty simple is take the bronzer and just kind of add some dimension to my eyeballs. Well, eyelids, excuse me. Yeah, that looks nice. 
kind of bring it up a little bit because I do have those hooded eyes, girl. We'll do some on the lower lash line as well, just for fun. I am going to add Magic Pencil from Morphe. I love this little guy. I think it was like $10 and it really helps making your eyes look bigger, making them pop. And very quickly, I am going to put on a little bit of mascara. I'm gonna go in with this from Milk. It is their Kush Mascara. normal see how bright my eyes look I'm telling you that lumify stuff is amazing just like don't question it go get it come back thank me later like I've lost track of how many bottles of these I have purchased this stuff is amazing I'm not joking with you I am not affiliated with them they don't even know who I am go get it I'll be right back I'm gonna go do my brows and then we're gonna put on these lashes. These are the House of Lashes Wing It Mini ones. Okay, eyebrows on, lashes on. What's left? Last but not least, I do want to give this Charlotte Tilbury the Kim KW lipstick a try. This is the first time, I know, I know, I'm late to the game. This is the first time I have ever tried one of her lipsticks and they are so Cute, look at the little lip print. Focus. They are so cute. Look at the little lip print in the lipstick. So I'm gonna line my lips and we'll put it on and that will be the completed, not doing anything today, I'm just bored, look. And as I said, oh my gosh, <laughs> as I said, I've not tried this lipstick. I don't know even if this shade will look right. So here goes nothing. Hmm. Oh, that's so pretty. Bless it. That's a really pretty color. Very soft, subtle, but still banging. And that's what we're asking for in some looks. And I am also going to set my face with this. It is from Beauty Bakery. I do like this setting spray. However, the scent, whatever they put in there is strong. Though it does hold your makeup in place. So give and take, you know, give and take. Every time. Whew. Like good grief. Hermes came out with a lipstick, a $67 lipstick, but I was thinking on it. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see maybe a little review on those lipsticks. I was also thinking, you guys, I've been so bored. So of course I've just been thinking and thinking. Um, maybe doing a video of blank made me buy it like another youtuber name give me somebody that you'd want to see i think that's really cute or maybe i don't know i've got things to organize it's maybe a look you want to see let me know help me do something please oh the lip liner i was using is ColourPop. 
inexpensive and good quality. I love their lip liners, Morphe's as well. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, thumbs up this video if it gave you something to do at least for a little bit. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. I'm Holly Lenora and I will catch you on the next video. Bye. Hey guys, so I just wanted to check in with y'all. Uh, it's been about three, three and a half hours with the Hourglass Concealer on and don't know what that is, whatever. It looks beautiful. Ignore this spot right here. That is what I talked about earlier where I had my, I did my uh, facial with the Drunk Elephant uh, baby facial stuff, that burn, and that is the aftermath of it. I am waiting on that to heal, so we could just ignore that. That'd be great. Back to the concealer. My skin looks airbrushed. Wow, it looks really good. So far, I love this concealer. I will let you know if anything changes. Uh, I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.